easy and a fun one today. This thing was game changing for me around the shop here. Uh, this is a ratchet strap roller upper that I cooked up out of just some scrap metal laying around and an old socket that never gets used. So uh, yeah, stick around, see how the build goes. It's pretty easy, straightforward. You can probably do this one. Let's make it happen. So uh, today I was gonna pop out here in the garage and spill something real quick. But I've got a problem. Problem first. Got to tackle this. Look at this. Look at this giant stack of ratchet straps left over from the last thing I hauled. Right in the middle of my workbench. I really hate rolling up ratchet straps. So I saw a TikTok. This guy was using this thing he built for his drill. We're going to build something new today. So the guy on TikTok that I saw, he had a bigger socket. Uh, like a one inch or an inch and a half, and he had split it. I don't have a socket that size that I really want to waste. So I'm just going to use this 14 mil that I don't think I've ever used for anything ever. Went ahead and marked it on both sides. What I'm going to do is take this piece of half inch round bar and I'm going to cut it in half to some piece of scrap left over from something that I've built. And we're just going to go on either side of this thing. Yeah. Should work. figure out about where about where the other dowel needs to go the game we're playing is the spacing off the table for the dowel that's already tacked to get the dowel that's not tacked lined up with my halfway mark that I got made that's pretty close that's pretty close Close enough. I mean, it's not like this is a precision science here. We're just trying to make a quick tool. Damn. Yeah, so that'll work. All right, let's burn this in real quick. Ah, brown trucks here. He's bringing the wife some more Amazon stuff, huh? Brown day was last week. Stuff still showing up. Yeah. Will that focus, please? Please? Uh, there we go. Yeah, so... We'll see how this works. It's a little wonky. It gets a little crazy, a little silly. You gotta really uh, pay attention. Try to keep it straight. But, you know, with any tool, as is with any tool, it takes time to get used to the situation. I think they sell these. I saw one for sale online for like 10 bucks or something, but this one was basically free. It only cost me a, a socket that I never use. So, I'll take free. Free 99. The construction of the tool took all of 
10 minutes. And honestly, there was no planning. Uh, the, the amount of planning was basically what you saw on the video. Uh, I wanted to build something, you know, and I had all these straps left over from unloading the truck this weekend. I installed that set of gates over at that customer's house. I had all these straps just, I was beat, man. It was hot last Friday. It's hot this week too, but you know. Thanks for watching the Delta Ridge Fab Build Channel. Make sure and like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll see us when we post new stuff. We are building constantly, at least uh, at least one big project a week around here. So uh, it's not always tools. This is for the moment kind of build, uh, solving problems. You know, solving problems is the name of the game around here. So uh, yeah, check us out on Facebook at Delta Ridge Fab. Uh, Instagram, Coleman underscore builds, and then obviously right here on the YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, we'll have uh, actually a fun art deco kind of home inside the house kind of thing coming up uh, later this week. So, yeah, stay tuned for that one. That one's going to be fun. Copycatting something off of Etsy. I ain't paying 130 bucks or something. I got scrap metal laying around for it. <laughs>